So I want to talk about a dream that I had this morning. I woke up at 4 a.m., approximately 4 a.m., and the date today is February 25th of 2020. And I want to talk about this because I feel like um, it is a dream from the Lord. It's kind of like a mixture between a vision as well as a dream. So, and the amazing thing, not one time was I afraid in this dream, not one single time, which is just the Lord, the peace of the Lord. But anyways, the dream starts out with me um, being somewhere like on my husband's job. And what's strange is my husband, his line of work in the dream, he was working at a factory. But his line of work is the military. He's in the Air Force. So in the dream, I couldn't figure out why is he working at a factory because he had on his factory uniform about to head back in there for work. And I had to call his name like three times. And the third time that I called his name, it was like I was being very adamant about calling him, trying to get his attention. And so the third time that I called him, he turned around and I kind of like was asking him, why are you going into the factory? Because, I mean, we know that that's not your line of work. And I forget what he says. But anyways, um, he comes with me and we proceed to walk to a bench. There was a bench. And as we were sitting on the bench and we were just talking about, you know, little of nothing, just talking. I happened to look out at the sky because where we were seated or sitting, excuse me, it was to the open view of the sky. It was like, that's all the scenery was. Now it was nighttime, but there was something very peculiar about the night light. It was like the moonlight was just lighting everything up. And I was admiring how beautiful it looked how beautiful the scenery was before us as we we're just sitting there talking. And then I began to notice from this this light, it was transparent. It was like a star, but it was like a transparent gold light as well. And it was coming from the west direction in the sky. And I was looking at it. I was like, oh, there's something coming. I was just looking at this light. And I knew in the dream when I was looking at this light, it was nothing naturally that I was seeing. I knew that I was spiritually seeing this light or this transparent gold star in the sky. I was like, okay, it's something coming I kept studying and looking at the light because it just began to just float. And then it started speeding up like really, really, really fast. It started going faster and faster and faster until it was almost like lightning fast. And the direction that it was going was east. And then all of a sudden, the scenery changed. I'm no longer on the bench with my husband, but I am now like on the balcony of an apartment, like on the top level. I think I was on the third level and I was looking out, out on the balcony at this light and the light just happened to just stop mid air kind of like was standing there for a second, I guess for me to prepare for cover or to tell everybody inside my apartment, which were my brothers and sisters and my mother, even though it was my brothers and sisters and mother in there, I think that that's symbolic to the body of Christ because us as a body of Christ, we are family because we belong to God and we're his children. So even though I saw my brothers and sisters, my family, my immediate family, I think that that's symbolic of just the body of Christ. So um, as I'm looking at this light, all of a sudden, 
I knew that it was getting ready to come towards our direction at a fast rate. So I proceed to go in and tell everybody, hey, you know, take cover, guys. Something's coming. Something is is about to hit. And I literally only had that second to tell them. And I there was a table, a reddish brown, sturdy big table that I happened to go up under. I was able to go up under there. Now, I don't know about my mom, my brothers and sisters. They weren't under there. I was the only one up under the table. And it's like immediately after I told them, hey, something's coming. Something's about to hit to take cover. We didn't have time. It was like it happened so fast. We didn't have time to prepare to take cover. It's like either you take cover and you know what to do immediately, swiftly and quickly, or you're going to get God. And so as I'm up under the table, you know, protected, I I was just closing my eyes in the spirit and I was I just kept saying I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus that's all I kept saying and as I was saying that I know that the light or the star it was the only light in the whole impart- apartment and I could I knew it was hovering over the table and around the table. I don't know if it was searching for everybody who was in the room or whatever. I don't know because I had my eyes closed and I was pleading the blood of Jesus, but I could hear a lot of commotion. It sound as if there was footsteps and there were things being torn left and right. I knew it was some type of commotion, but not one time was I afraid. I was not one time afraid when I was hearing this all around me. I I just heard that. It just sounded like there was being some shifting. There was being some shifting taking place or somebody was shifting and tearing things left and right. Just and I heard footsteps. That's all I could hear. And um so I'm I'm still praying and I'm hearing all of this. And I happen to um peek out a little bit from my eye and I could see the star that was hovering over the table that I was up under. It was right there, but it was not, for some reason, it was not messing with me. So I just still stay up under there. I knew I had to stay up under there until whatever was going on finished, whatever was happening. I knew I had to wait until it was finished. And Finally, it was done. It had left. And I came from up under the table. And I noticed when I came from up under the table, my brothers and sisters and my mom, they were like walking in formation towards the back. But I noticed that they were all dirty and they had haystacks, what appeared to be hay straws all on them and dirt all over them. They were like covering hay straws. I don't know why I said Well, it looked like it was a combination between hay straws and haystacks that like they were rolling in a pile of haystack straws or hay straws and they had dirt all over them from head to toe. And I was I was like, wow, I I didn't say it out loud. I was just thinking like they really they're dirty and I'm not. I didn't have anything on me. I was not affected or anything like that. And even though they had all this dirt and hay straws on them, they were okay. They were walking back there, I guess, to get cleaned and changed from, you know, the aftermath of whatever happened. So anyways, I think they did get cleaned or whatever. But I happened to go back outside and I was looking at the night sky and y'all, these clouds were the fluffiest, whitest, beautiful clouds I've ever seen in all of my life. Like they were so big and fluffy and the moonlight was just so light and these clouds were speeding at a very fast rate. They were just, the clouds were just flying across the sky like just speeding at a 
very fast rate. And I was just admiring how beautiful that looked. I was like, wow, that's that's really beautiful. It was just a beautiful sight to see. And then I saw in the midst of that, I was able to look up and this still looks like now this is either pointing towards the north direction or possibly kind of slightly northeast direction. But anyways, I saw God's rainbow. God had put a rainbow there right in my plain sight, like view sight. I saw a rainbow and I believe I was telling my family members, hey, oh my gosh, oh, look, this is God's grace, God's mercy. He put his rainbow here. Look at his rainbow, but they weren't able to capture it. It was like, it was only fast enough for me to see and for nobody else to see. But for me, what I get from looking at that rainbow is just God showing me his mercy, his grace, his love, his long suffering, his protection. You know, that was just him showing me that I, I'm i giving you grace, I'm giving you mercy, and I'm with you. That was just a, a token and a sign to me that he was there with me and that it was his mercy that protected all of us from whatever this was. But for me, what I'm getting from that dream is that some of us in the body of Christ we're going to be protected and covered and some of us may get a little dirty and we're still going to be protected and covered, but we need to be watching and praying and staying in the spirit so that we can know what's ahead, what's to come. And even though we may know what's ahead and what's to come to me, what I'm getting from this is we always must be prepared for anything necessary that can occur. Like we need to be prepared. And when we're prepared, no matter what is happening around us, we will be protected no matter what. He will keep us in his grace, in his mercy, in his love, in his protection. We are going to be covered. And even some of the saints, obviously, who weren't prepared, they got a little dirty, but they were still covered. It's like, I don't know. For them to have haystacks on them, it's like he's coming through doing a shifting and a shaking. And some of his saints are going to get a little dirty in that process. And some of us are going to have his grace and be protected and covered. I don't know. But we as his children need to always be prepared. Always be prepared for what's ahead. We know that this is the end times. We don't know the hour, the day, or none of that when he will return. Even Jesus Christ, his son, don't even know the hour that his father is coming. Only the father knows. He talks about that in Revelation. Only he knows. But this dream to me was a wake-up call to always stay in prayer and stay in the spirit, read his word, focus on his word, because I actually was woken up at two o'clock, 2 a.m. in the morning. And I began to just pray and focus on scriptures and different things like that. And then when I went to sleep is when I had this vision and dream. And um, I woke up at four and telling you guys about this dream. So just know that I'm praying for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want us all to keep pressing towards the mark reaching for the higher calling in Christ Jesus, looking to the hills from whence our help cometh, which is from the Lord. I want us to just stay in the word, stay focused. Don't lose sight of the goal because the ultimate goal is looking for the appearance of Christ, always looking for his appearance, always keeping ourselves prepared, being the wise virgins you know, looking for him, not the unwise who weren't looking. They were off doing other things. They were distracted. But let us be the wise virgins looking for the arrival of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. So I just thought that I would share this dream with you guys to just encourage you to just keep looking for him. 
and pray that he may show you spiritual things that's going on in the spiritual realm that is coming from him. I feel like this dream was from God through and through because I saw the rainbow, which represents God. And um, I was praying in the dream. So it's different clues that I feel leads me to believe that this dream was from God. He wanted me to see this and I'm sharing it with you all. But I hope you guys be blessed out there. I love you all. Stay prayed up and I'm praying for you. God bless you. I love you. God loves you. And to the next time, be blessed and ciao.